usually a, a VSM has a, like five large steps, right? Once you identify the process family uh, uh, that you want to analyze, then you do your current state mapping, what we described earlier. And how do we realize it? That's, I would say, the most important part of it. It's your implementation plan. And how do we realize it? That's, I would say, the most important part of it. It's your implementation plan. So at the end of the entire uh, uh, workshop, you need to build your implementation plan. Uh, and, and the implementation plan is not a one-man show. Uh, you need to have a team uh, dedicated uh, 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 that will work with you. Uh, you need to be uh, uh, realistic in your in your uh, due dates and, and in, in the efforts that is required. Um, you cannot ask, you know, a, an operator to change the layout of the shop, right? You need to have a team and, and that, that will take more time than, than just adjusting an equipment or, 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 or making floor marking on the floor or, the, or carts. Uh, uh, you know, you want, you want to have a cart that will help you have all your, 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 your parts uh, presented to you the right way. You, you spend less time, you know, walking around. It's going to be brought to you. That's all good, but it has to be detailed. How do we do that? And this is uh, where, unfortunately, many people spend a lot of time. They do a nice workshop. They have a nice mapping on the wall. They, they, they bring the senior management. They show them, hey, this is what we can improve. We can get 25, 30, 40% improvements. But how does it happen? What happens next? It, it falls uh, and, 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 and we don't, um, it's not the priority anymore. And we move to something else. So. I would say at this point, this is where you need to have someone strong in charge of implementing the plan. And I would recommend someone with good project management skills. At this point, you have to build a, 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 a PMO, a small project management office or group to be able to follow on a regular basis what happens with this project, with this part, where is it, who's in charge of it, how come we're late, and you need to report to senior management on how it progresses. This is where I would say the involvement, involvement of your senior management will be important because they need to ask questions. They need to expect uh, a, a change and they need to expect a, 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 an improvement in a, in a, normal, uh, a normal way. Uh, and unfortunately, it's sad because we spend so much time analyzing, uh, uh, I would say, creating, uh, uh, I would say, hope, uh, building hope that we can improve, but we have a hard time to materialize it at the end. So I would say on this one, the next step after your mapping is done is put someone in charge to drive the projects, make sure that they happen, that, that we follow up on a regular basis just to make sure that it doesn't, you know, and you should instead do little improvements but that you will be able to, uh, 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 I would say, materialize instead of coming with a major big change that will take two, three years to happen.